Let me show you how to use the visual grader on a PC within Schoology. So I've logged into a course and uh, I've got an assignment here, draw another horse. And you can see I've got uh, four students who've submitted work that need grading. Now I could get to that other ways. I could go to the grade book, draw another horse. Here's my four students. I could click right on one of those and it would take me into that student's assignment. Uh, however you choose to get to the work, that's uh, kind of up to the way you work in the, the program. Now when I uh, go into the first uh, submitted assignment, it's a little too big so I can zoom out a little. And uh, I've got a rubric for this assignment. A, a horse has four legs, hooves, long body, long tail, a mane, and a long face. So uh, this would meet all of the criteria in my rubric. Now I can do several things. If there were text, uh, like a, a submitted document, I could select text, I could um, highlight text, but that's not the case here. I could also strike through text. I could leave a, a little note. So if I were to type a note, and save that, uh, or I could actually write on this. And it's a little bit different than the iPad version. You can use any color here you like, um, as long as you like black. A little tougher to write uh, with a mouse. Now, I said you, any color you wanted as long as it was black. It turns out after you write, you can change the style. So if I wanted to make that red or something else, I could do that. Now, as soon as I go to the next assignment, it's going to forget this choice. I'm going to have to go through the process again. But on this one, if I draw more, it'll stay that red color, which is handy. Uh, so when I'm finished, I can go up here to my grade, type in a grade, and I'm finished with that one. So I submit it, go to the next one. This one's also a little bit too big. I zoom out. Now, if I wanted to look at certain parts of it, I could use the pan tool without zooming out. Uh, once again, uh, this one looks good, meets all the criteria. So I go up to my pen. I wait for it to figure out that I've added text, go to style, go to color, make it a little bit thicker. Done. Go up to my grade. And I go to the next one. Mm, it looks like we've got a a long body, a tail, a mane, a long head, but we're missing a leg. Looks like we've only, we've got a three-legged horse here. So I'm gonna make a note. And according to my rubric, that's only gonna be a, a 90 out of 100 and so on. So you get the idea. Um, I could at any time uh, print or download these assignments. Uh, this little icon turns the uh, revisions on the side. So every time I do something here, it adds a revision. I could always go back and delete one of those revisions. So let's say I wanted to delete that circle. I could uh, delete that circle. Let's see, Control Z. Now, I was hoping Control Z might put that back, but it doesn't. It looks like once it's deleted, it's gone. So let's go to the last one. Wow, this one's really good. Maybe a little too good. Uh, you're going to have students turn in work that's not their own. This student uh, actually was... Uh, silly enough to turn something and it looks like they flipped it backwards. It looks like Pinta, Pinto, Pinto, something 19. Uh, 
for me, I would uh, probably start by just sending a, a, a note to the student saying, uh, this doesn't look like your work. One thing I like to point out is down here at the bottom, I can see all of the students who have turned in work and I can click on any one of those. So if after going through two or three assignments, I decide, oh, I need to, I need to tell them all this, or I need to go back to one and, and change it, you can hop back to anything you've already done and you can add to it or take away uh, as you wish.